So, highly likely when you go into your first world, you're going to need some sort of base to get started with. And, of course, my recording software is lagging. As, as always, my recording software is lagging, so don't mind that. But, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to build a rather nice starter base with starter materials. And I'm thinking right here, it's going to be nice. And... You're gonna want to oh. you're gonna want to do that. And then you're gonna wanna punch these out up here. And you wanna dig down five and you wanna go down six blocks ish. Three, four, six. Perfect. Alright, so this so this is how to make a phenomenal starter base in Minecraft. Base that up. Uh, get the stairs. Um, the reason you want to use stairs when you're still new to Minecraft is they uh, preserve your hunger. So we need to get a few things done. We're gonna extend this out. We're gonna do just a little bit of terraforming here. Perfect. And then we can and get a nice wooden front porch up. Here, I want to remove this tree right here. Okay. We have a nice front porch. I'm thinking some cobble. Around it like this. Some cobble. Whoa. All right. Stairs. And row of stairs leading up into the base. And I just realized I've been building with infested cobblestone. Not regular. Okay. We're gonna need a sugar source of sugar cane, of course, because we're trying to grow. Our, our book base collection. So the sugar cane source can go right here. And then we're going to want to get some fence. And a nice little fencing put up right here. And you might be thinking to yourself that this doesn't make any sense because it just goes into the water. But we can get a nice little dock set up right along the way. Okay. Now let's, we're going to actually. And of course, you can always go off this other direction. We'll put a gate uh, right here as well. Play and there it is. I'm thinking that this looks pretty nice indeed. Bring that down as well. Okay. 
this along. Actually, bring this out. Two more blocks. And there he goes. That's a nice, just little front here. Pitch off of, do whatever you desire. Um, pull it up well. Or another cool kind of building trick is instead of putting it on the top, and it looks a little tacky sometimes, you put it to the of the thing, and it looks ah, I threw that. Do that. Got off to the sides, and it's fishing dock. Now, that looks good. Over here, okay. put some of this up. Most of this for the time being. Get the hoe and um, eat. And a water bucket. Grab that and just along the front yard we got a little bit of water around. I mean Okay. Got that around like that and then we till these blocks right along here. Actually, bring this out. Just one more block. And then we can do that. Elevate that up a block. It'll look a little bit better like that. And then this should be all the terraforming for the time being. And I get it, a lot of beginners won't really be able to terraform. But I'm just trying to make it look just a bit nicer. Um, we can get oak logs, and we're going to kind of give this a housey feel. And come out like that. And this is just really the building part. Um, the redstone part is going to come soon. All the simple contraptions that a building like this should contain, but that'll all be a moment. I would like to uh, get just this basic stuff. I know, like I said, I'm not a first class builder either, but just a little bit of a design in front of our house. It's always nice and appreciated, I guess, rivers, you don't just want ugly starter bases in the world. There, there. Slab. Boom. Boom. I forgot to do the under. Okay. Now, stair again. 
do a little bit of a design on here. Not really even a design, just a little. Make it a little bit nicer. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Okay. Um, we don't really have a window in the front, but it's a starter base, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Time to dig. Okay. Now, if I'm getting. Hmm, let me grab a window. I don't know why I typed in window because nothing would even come up. Anyways, if I am a very brilliant person. No, yep. Okay. So, we're going to fill this. We're going to fill this front area over here with the seeds. We're going to get it. Double, and we're just going to path this front area. Under a fence wall. And then a right there. Perfect. And we have a nice little front lawn. Uh, I get some gravel. I know I'm just kind of doing all this on the spot. I didn't really have this planned out in my head. Oh crap! Around like that. Not one of that at all. Need to gravel here and there. Oh no, no, no. Um, here. Gravel there. That. Yeah, it looks, it looks rather nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. So, I'm going to go down here and dig out a 3 by 3 by 3 area. Or I apologize. 5 by 5 by 3 by 9 area. Through here. And... I will come back once that is done because I need to save on time. Also, I'm going to dig out this block in the stairwell right here. Block that you can see. So I stuck with the 3x3 three three and I'm just going to dig however far back I feel necessary. And then at the end, after I've built everything and everything's all said and done, I'll go back in and decorate so what was my phone doing okay right start off with some logs here yeah okay and that three by three area and then some more logs here and in this three by three area we're gonna build Little store system. Um, test right here. Okay. And I know you are thinking right now, um, well, Tommy, how on earth are you going to open the chests that are on the top layer? 
And that's a very good question. And the answer is with wooden slabs. I use that as a ceiling. It's a very common trick. I'm actually not going to be here. I'm going to go with a full on chest just so we can get an extra bit of storage. And I'm just going to check in a three by three area of, well, There's that. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. They have to. I'm not even, I'm not, oh. I might actually a design kind of like that for the yes. I'd like to keep it uniform. Uniform. Yes. Okay, perfect. And that does not look bad. Building magic here. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the looks of that by a lot. And you can open. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, on this other side, I'm thinking we'll do it. Three by three area similarly, but we do something just a little bit. We can ourselves a little furnace melt melting. Three furnaces, three blast furnaces, and then three smokers. Yeah. It's been quite good. I also made it a modification to the stairwell. I made it wooden. And I'm going to make this entire floor wooden. And the walls where there's not a design stone and the thing that separates design from design is going to be a lock. Then the thing that separates the build from the build is locked. So. I will come back when I have a few more things done. So, that should be everything done. Yes. No. My uh, that. Okay. This is everything. Fine. And yes, I did just take a screen. All right. That is a nice starter base. So we'll go ahead and walk in. Um, we have all the wheat right here. It's nice and grown. We have our way out over here, and a nice little dock going down there. If we come inside, you can see the storage system that I started off with. It's got nine rows of or nine double chests, which is 18 chests in total. I have swapped out the smokers for crafting tables because those are more useful, and we need crafting tables. If we go over here, we have an egg farm. It's already produced four eggs, and this is our little. This is our little mining setup right here. Um, it's a nice little mining setup. Um, but then over here, 
have a bedroom. It's very simple. Then after that, there is a cogglable nether portal. Yes, and the redstone behind it is surprisingly simple. Just a T flip flop that goes into that. And yes, it does use a sticky piston, but you can usually get slime pretty quickly, whether it be by finding a slime chunk or by finding a village. See, that does work. Um, over here, anyone who knows redstone will know what this is. This is an automatic armor equipping station that also opens the doors for me. Um, and then finally in here I have an enchanting setup, a little enchanting table with lapis lazuli and the books. I have a grindstone and an anvil and I think that's just about everything you need in the starter base. I mean, yeah, and there's also when I spawned in the world, there was a swamp off that direction, yeah. And there's a village off in this direction, and a desert off in this direction with a ravine. This would be a really good place to have a starter base. And then there's also this lake that you can definitely build on, I'd say. Nice beginner's house right there. And I don't typically build beginner's houses, but a lot of people who I know do. And then a ravine with a no mine shaft in it, but it's still got a ravine, which is really cool. And let's see here, anything else that I'm developing? That's lava. Oh, it's actually got a desert temple. It's actually a pretty good seed. I'll link it down in the description. These are really, really good. I just out of curiosity, I've got it. Ooh, that was cool. Bring fortune two. That's a fortune three. Golden apples, flame, two diamonds, and a whole bunch of gold. No problem. Now that there's uh, nowadays there's different loot, so you won't get the same loot if you get the seed. I don't don't quote me on that. Though, I think. But this is a nice little place as you can see for a little starter base um i think it's awesome thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more and as always i will see you in the next video goodbye